Hey guys, it's Dale here from theforexguy.com. <clears throat> I hope this video finds you in good trading. I'm just putting on the video quickly because I've got two trade setups here that I want to share with you. Uh, the first one's on the Aussie dollar and what I'm basically looking at is a bearish reversal signal. You can't see it here, it's on the four hour chart, but before we dive down at the four hour chart, I always like to do uh, top down analysis. So we check out the weekly chart, see what the bigger picture is telling us. We can see we've had a rally into a resistance area here on the weekly chart, so a likely turning point. The market has tried to sort of like make uh, a break out of this resistance here and push higher, but we can see we're getting these upper sort of tails on the weekly candles, uh, this, which basically suggests that the higher prices are not uh, desired. By the market and uh, the bears are coming in and pushing the price down and basically suppressing them back, back under that weekly level so the, the fact that the market can't hold above that weekly level is a bearish statement in itself because we've already had a rally it's, it's basically signs of potential exhaustion there so from the weekly perspective it looks like you know the market wants to come down and you know just correct a bit maybe find support here again at this weekly level so looking a little bit bearish there on the weekly. If we go to the daily chart, we can see that weekly level there, you know, having a bit more of an effect with the local price action. So we've had basically the market sort of like bounce off here and sort of like hesitated there as it, before it broke through. So we can see the significance of the level there. Now we had a bearish event on the Aussie dollar this week and that basically jammed price below that resistance level very thick candle very very solid uh, day there whoops need to update my antivirus uh, so looking at about a 200 pip range there for the day and this day is basically you know driven all the technicals on the chart you know into bearish mode here so we've had this level break so you know we've, we broke above the level which is you know sort of like bullish come back down here you know the market would really need to hold above that level for this uptrend to remain healthy but it didn't it, it basically broke down and we got the close below the level and it's a pretty pretty aggressive close below that level so it's a bearish statement so after this bearish day uh, we also had the price close on the negative side of the mean value there so that's also pretty serious now after this bearish day we basically been waiting for you know a retracement we don't want to sell you know at the lows after that bearish day there we sort of we're looking for a better price to get in right so uh you know me and the warrior members have basically just been waiting for that next sort of like um you know retracement back up and we're, we're waiting for the next signal the next lower high okay we want to see that lower high develop and um that's basically going to get us into position at a better price so on the daily chart, we can see today that we've got an upper tail on the current candle, which shows re rejection of that resistance. This candle hasn't closed yet. We're in the US session at the moment. So yeah, the, the US dollar is firing up a bit. So it's going to move the Aussie US dollar chart around a bit, uh, which is good. Uh, so now we just drop back to the four hour chart and we can see right here we had a bearish outside candle uh right pretty much close to that level there i mean marking level sometimes isn't you know exact science you know that's it's kind of like a bit of an area there so we can see that we've had that bearish signal develop that we're waiting for at the next lower high so i basically missed the retracement entry on that and i just basically got in here when i got to the charts i, I just basically sold the market and uh, put my stop above the high there and I'm just waiting to see how it goes and if I go back to the daily chart if I don't know if you can see that if the video picks it up I've got my target down here okay um, because if this thing's going to sell off I imagine it's going to be you know a decent sell off just go back to the weekly chart again my targets actually it's, it's hidden in there so I've targeted the next major weekly turning point so uh, potentially we, we, we could get a bullish signal there which would be a good buy signal but for now, uh, you know, we're, we're looking to ride that move back down to the next weekly turning point, this weekly support here. 
hopefully this trade does well it's already starting to sell off now so it's a good sign I'll leave the video there and I'll come back and I'll show you guys how it all went hey guys I'm back with a conclusion for this Aussie dollar trade um, it didn't work out as expected but I did manage to get out of this trade before taking a full loss. I don't normally like to interfere with my trades, but in this case, I did see a good reason to justify uh, pulling the plug on it. So let me just walk you through what happened. Um, here's my trade down here, basically the statement uh, that shows it's in the loss. Uh, if you get your trades out of history of MT4 and you just basically click on them and drag them onto your chart, uh, it'll actually map it out for you. So we can actually see what happened. It's like a little replay. Here's my entry price there. Here's where I actually exited. And here's where my original stop loss was. So you can see the little uh, dotted trend line that it makes there to show, you know, the um, basically the exposure you had in the market. I basically decided to pull the plug on the trade here. <clears throat> um, you know, about 60% of the way to the stop loss. So I did, luckily I did make the right decision. As you can see, the the bullish momentum did continue and, and did uh, violate where my stop loss was anyway. So why did I pull pull a plug on this? Why did I exit? Um, I'll tell you why. So the market made a low here. Okay, it came back up and then dropped a reversal pattern right around this uh, level that I was talking about in the um, previous part of the video. Dropped a reversal signal. Great, everything looks good at this point. Market starts to sell off. Beautiful, that's what we want to see. Then the market flattens out here and, and basically makes this intermediate sort of like support level here and just bottoms out temporarily on this support level here. Okay, sometimes this happens. So at this stage, basically the market has made a higher low because this is the previous low and now this low that's being made here is higher than the previous low. So that is a bullish statement there that's that's a the bullish footprint a higher low that's concerning sure these things happen um but really what needs to happen is this this higher low really needs to be taken out for this trade to work out okay so i noticed this higher low developing on the four hour chart so i, I decided to pay a little bit more attention than usual you know, usually i like to see my basically set my trades and let see them through and leave them to the fate of the market but um you know this one just sort of rang alarm bells here so i had this sort of concern about this high low that was developing now the market basically rallied up off that high low now i wanted to see sure if the market rallied up i wanted to see it fade back down and, and show rejection of high prices but it didn't it, it it started to close higher off that high low there then the market basically came back down and I thought okay if, if, if we can see the continued selling great we I just want to want to see that high low violated but no uh, the market came back down and rejected lower prices instead and closed back higher so at the end of that four hour candle I basically thought well this isn't working out um, the bulls are coming back in here there's there's too many signs working against me so it looks like the trade idea is basically dying and it's it's, it's going against me, so I, I pulled the plug on it and terminated it uh, manually. And lucky I did because the market did continue to rise and violate the stop loss there. So what I was going to do is just basically see if we got a you know, better sell signal up here, a stronger one around that level. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just flirting with that level now. So I just wanted to share with you uh, this loss because uh, a lot of my videos obviously are winning glorious trades and you know some people might be skeptical that I'm just um, cherry picking all these awesome trades and, and not really showing a real insight to, to what trading's like. Everybody knows as a trader that you take losses and uh, obviously I think it's um, the right thing to do to, to share some losses with you and just show you how I manage them. Uh, normally, like I said, I, the stop loss would just be triggered and that's it. Just in this special case here, I decided to pull the trigger from um, the circumstances that built around here, the, the bullish evidence. But normally, I would that stop would just be taken out and that'd be an end of story. Uh, and that's gen generally how it usually plays out, like a loss for me would play out in that way. Stop is hit or the target is hit. It takes a very special set of circumstances to actually get me to manually intervene with my trades. Uh, I like I said, I, I like to set and forget, collect, 
and let the market basically take control after I've entered. So this is my losing trade. These things happen. It's part of the game. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed seeing me lose and I hope you took some value from the video and I'll see you hopefully in the next one with a, a good winner.